Hey everybody, my name is Master Rothfuss and welcome to Sudden Strike 4. We got ourselves a 4v4 here and we're playing around with the German army and we got ourselves an armor division. Over here I believe this might be a support division but essentially we have one support division, one armor division and then two infantry divisions. These divisions give you different starring skills, starring units, the works really when it comes to your um, army. Alright, so let me go ahead and attach these infantry units onto my vehicles, and then we can get moving right away. Now, the reason why I have a 4v4 set up here instead of like a traditional 1v1 is due to the fact that these maps are tailored to uh, 4v4 play. And essentially put, the objective is to own all these field HQs. The team to own all the field HQs wins the game. That's really about it more focused on army composition rather than base building which is quite a shame but this is currently a beta version of the game so what you're seeing right now is still subject to change you can call in more units with the train stations or with the docks on some maps so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and keep on a moving soon we'll get into some nice giant tank battle action but yeah i'll be taking a look at sunstrike 4 as well as the um different divisions for each of the factions should be a lot of fun and the campaign there's already like a, a slew of different content that we can actually choose from actually hold on a second something that would make this a little bit um better for you guys let's turn off health bars really quick and yeah that should be a little bit better no, actually, hold on a second. We could, if we wanted to, disable something else. Botch, batch pop-ups, uh, maybe. There's actually a, quite a lot of things that you can actually like change up in this game, which is really cool. Um, yeah, mini-map notifications. No, 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 objective panels, hearing feedback. Yeah, we can turn that off. I'm not sure what this, like these eyeball icons are. Probably a lot of things that we can change up. But yeah, currently the start of these games are always just hectic, honestly. It's just pure fucking chaos at this point. Right, let me go ahead and fortify my tanks. Give them a little bit more armor. Again, this game is still in development, so what you're seeing right now is still a messy work in progress. But I gotta say, there's so many tanks on the fucking field, it is quite crazy. really do hope that we can obviously have the ability later on down the line to be able to base build and do a, a lot more stuff essentially. This is more of an aspect that I feel um, dumbs down this game, the um, lack of base building. But that could just be because of obviously the um, beta aspect. Anyway, my allies are just kind of like swooping in, trying to grab as much as possible after this huge, massive battle in the middle here. I think everything's kind of calmed down a little bit lost a couple of tanks this Pershing over here is just tanking everything no pun intended of course can even like, do some call-ins here which is quite nice like over here I can deploy some paratroopers there's so many like different options when it comes to um the amount of things that you could change up in this game in terms of like you know obviously the um, menus and the um the ui and stuff i assume right now and i know this might be wishful thinking but i assume that possibly just maybe that same like diversity will also exist when it comes to what was it the different modes so this is like a no base building mode just for teams and stuff and just giant armies Maybe later on there'll be modes where they're more base, um, more RTS focused. Alright, let's go ahead and move down here to this field HQ. Or not this field HQ, this train station. This field HQ is the one that we have to take out. Alright, 
quite a lot you can uh, there's quite a lot of mechanics going on here there's fog of war you can hide in like cover and stuff like that and, and trees and shit different um, mechanics involving like tanks and stuff like infantry getting upon them and shit it's really cool actually it's more of a RTS game than a tactics game and I quite like that because I'm not a big fan of tactics Go ahead and repair. One thing that I'm kind of perplexed about is can the armored division not get access to any, um, was it infantry units? That's actually a good question. Look at this tiger. Ooh. Get myself a second tiger right here. But yeah, units just constantly come in here through the various train stations, and you can just click on that, and then, boop, you got your unit. Jawohl. And we won, just like that. It's a fairly fast mode, actually. Let's go ahead and do another game, actually. We'll do it on the, um, what is this, beach over here? As you can see, here's my starting army, and we're just going to continue our trend here. Let's go for a support doctrine, and then afterwards we can go with... Let's go with two armor divisions, then infantry division, and then we can go with, you know, infantry, armored, how about armored again? Surprisingly, I didn't think there was going to be three factions, but there's German, Allied, and then Russian, and then the doctrines for each of them. I hope that they add in Japanese, Italian, and so on and so forth later on. That would be quite good. That would be amazing, actually. Alright, get, get into the game. But yeah, not a huge fan of this mode, but um, it is a beta build, and this is probably like just a... A small, like, a mode that, um, you have the option to playing with. Probably won't be the only mode. Hopefully it won't be. There's also a campaign that we can actually play around with as well, so I would love to actually show you guys that aspect of the game as well. Speech here, there's some docks that you can grab units from. Tons of tank traps, so this is, like, more infantry focused. I like that there's... Um, different terrains that are tailored to um, different unit types. So, for example, infantry is only going to be able to go through here, largely in the forest areas. Then, same with tank traps here, more forest. It's just nice. It makes infantry relevant, even in these large game battles where there's like hundreds of tanks. Which, you know, unlike Company of Heroes, this is like more of the massive wars of like World War Two, or my bad. Um, this is more of a a focus on like massive World War II battles instead of like a uh, um, tactic, um, tactical based gameplay. But yeah, let's go ahead and just fortify. And we can get out passengers. I don't know why I'm not allowed to actually build more infantry. That's something that kind of also kind of robs me, um, robs me the wrong way. Okay, we're gonna have to actually get out of here. Doesn't seem like they're coming in this way. Where are they going? Oh! As you can see, I'm already getting some good shit. Let's go ahead and grab the tiger. Love to see what the elephant's in. Um, all the other like iconic super German tanks look like. Actually, you know what I want to see? I want to see the uh, P-1000. That would be awesome. Yeah, let me go ahead and have the repair vehicle over here. Oh, the infantry is sort of moving this way. These starting battles are always a fucking mess. They decide, like, the, the universe, essentially. I think this, um, these really fast, like, what was it, team battles? They need, like, um, 
a way for there to like stop your opponents from rushing you down. So maybe like the company, the Dawn of War 3 method of just like having giant towers defend your base. Because there's no base defenses here, which is really weird, honestly. Call in the ground attack airplane. That must be that one over there. Oh no, it's that one over there. The slightly more advanced looking airplane. Bin da, wo man mich braucht. Einsatzbereit, Kommandant. Infanterie in Bewegung. Verstanden, Kontrollturm. Ziel in Sicht. Nice. Einsatzbereit, Kommandant. Feuer! Befehle, Kommandant. Bereit für die Schlacht. Infanterie. You can use V here in order to throw grenades. Tötet sie! Infanterie einsatzbereit. Just get the fuck out of here. You're not gonna be able to kill my infantry in here. I'm in the zone, dude. Out of the zone. Wir sind einsatzbereit, Kommandant. Infanterie meldet sich zum Dienst. Knallt sie ab! Knallt sie ab! Become a sneaky little um demon over here. Oh, can I not? I don't have any more grenades. This is a problem. Bereit für die Schlacht. Infanterie einsatzbereit. Infanterie in Bewegung. Bin da, wo man mich braucht. Wir sind einsatzbereit, Kommandant. Sanitäter unterwegs. Fahrzeug funktionstüchtig. Befehle, Kommandant. All right, here's our tank. Let's go ahead and move him and we've won the train station so we can get some more heavy tanks mm. Some bad guys over there Unfortunately, my guys are super weakened up by, from the encounter with the tank. I like how there's so many different mechanics associated with the um, units as well in terms of like how they fire. So, right over here, there's ammo and then there's like armor penetration, different like HE rounds, all that shit. Health, fuel, you know, that sort of stuff. Things that, um,. You know, that also exists in real-time tactics games, so it seems like a marriage of the two, of real-time tactics and RTS. Granted, one of the complaints I've heard of, uh, from this game is that it's a little bit um, too fast. I'm not really sure, because I haven't played the previous entry, so I'll have to see. It does seem fairly fast, though, I'm not going to lie. But I thought that that was because of this mode in particular. Time for Shrek to come. You know what? Let me go ahead and call down some paratroopers. I think it's about time to do the um to do the same thing the Soviets did to the Germans with the T-34s, but instead with Tiger tanks. Everybody needs the Bane blade here. And what a better Bane blade than the Tiger tank? Actually, let me go ahead and move this way with the convoy. I like that if a unit is weak enough, then you can actually like heal them up instead of like outright kill them off. But yeah, that'll be it for today, I think. Yeah, that's about it. That was our look see at the armored division. And what we're going to do is we're going to do, you know, then the allies and then the Russians, and then we're going to continue going down the doctrines. And then after that, we'll 
take a look at the various campaigns here. I'll see you guys next time, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Sunstrike 4. Bye-bye.